Today we're going to talk about something that I don't normally talk about, but it's actually sort of near and dear to my heart, and that is ways that you as a stay-at-home mom can make money, uh, ways that I've made money through the years as a stay-at-home mom, as a homeschooling mom. And the reality is, is that whether you want to make some extra money because your family needs you to, or if it's just because you want something to do for yourself, you just want some extra spending money, whatever your reasons for wanting to make extra money, mine initially were to help us pay our bills, and then over the years it transformed into helping us to pay for vacations or helping to pay for sports and activities for my kids, uh, various things throughout the years that were just important to our family that me doing something part-time um, was able to help provide for us that income. From pretty much the moment my first child was born, I knew that I didn't want to go back into a traditional work scenario, and so I was determined to find ways to make money where I could still be home with her. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the things I've done over the years, and then times have changed a lot. There's a lot more efficient ways, a lot higher paying ways, and a lot easier ways to make some money from home. None of these things that I'm gonna share with you are scammy kind of things. And whatever you feel about MLMs, none of the things I'm gonna share with you today are any of those kinds of things. These are legitimate ways that you can make money that do not require anything weird or squirrely, you know? So first, let me just tell you a couple of the things that I have done. Um, so one of the first things that I did was to start an in-home daycare. Now, depending on where you live, the state that you live in, the rules, the laws, depending on how many kids you intend to have, that will determine whether or not you need a license and what the legal steps are for that. Where I lived, as long as I didn't have more than, I think it was four or five children, um, I didn't have to have a license. And so I basically was able to keep a couple of children during the day while I had my little one as well. And that is a very, it's an exhausting job. It's a very tiring job. Um, but it's one that allowed me to be home, not have to return to my previous job immediately after having my daughter. And it's something that is definitely an option. I would encourage you that if that's something you're thinking about to be sure that your only reason for doing it isn't because of money, because like I said, it is a tiring job. It is exhausting to be on all day. Um, and you are taking care of other people's children. And that requires an even higher level of care probably than you would give your own children. So <laughs> um, it is definitely not for the faint of heart and shouldn't be taken lightly. You're caring for other people's children. Don't forget that. Uh, but it is an option if you really love kids, you really love being around kids and taking care of kids and you love making the little lunches and doing the crafts and activities and stuff, that can be a really fun job and a, a really great way for you to be able to stay home. Like I mentioned, times have changed. So I also ran a photography business. Now obviously this wasn't a business that I did um, as you know during the stay at home mom hours. It was a business that I ran on the evenings and weekends when my husband was home. But it gave me the freedom to, you know, while my kids were napping, I could work on editing photos. Uh, there's a lot that goes into running a legitimate business. But if I could go back and do it all again, another type of business that I would consider for myself is to open an Etsy shop. Now, you might be thinking, what, an Etsy shop? But listen, hear me out. There's tons and tons and tons of content out there from Etsy shop owners talking about ridiculous amounts of money that they make from their Etsy shop. Now there's a formula to it. You've got to have a product that people want. You've got to have a product that's desirable. You've got to price it right and all of that. There's a formula to it. But if you start to search on Pinterest or YouTube for videos on how to start and have a successful Etsy shop, you will be shocked. I'm just I am forever blown away these days by the creative ways that people make money um, and a lot of money. A lot of it is about how resourceful you can be, how creative you can be, how you can think outside the box, how you can see a need and jump in to fill it. Uh, but whether you're creating digital products, which don't require you to ship anything, or products that require shipping, I have seen people have incredible success with Etsy shops and it's, it's inspired me a lot. So don't discount Etsy. That can be a fabulous way to make money. 
All right, number three on the list happens to be the sponsor of today's video, and that is a company called Cambly. Now they have Cambly and Cambly Kids, and this is a pretty amazing opportunity. If something like this had been around when my kids were young and I was trying to find a way to be able to stay home with them, I would have jumped on this. So they're an English learning platform, um, and they help people learn English in over 190 countries around the world. And they do this by basically allowing English learners, people who are trying to learn the English language they can use this on-demand video platform to match up and take lessons basically from native English speaking tutors uh, on video chat now the Cambly kids is specifically for children ages 4 to 15 I'm telling you this could be such a perfect opportunity for a homeschooling mom to make some extra money um, you would be teaching through the Cambly kids you would be teaching kids ages 4 to 15 um, helping them learn English and if you're worried about what the qualifications may be as far as like, do you need a teaching degree or anything like that? No, the qualifications are just simply that you need to be a native English speaker. You need to have a good, strong internet connection because obviously this is gonna be a video scenario. So you need a good, strong internet connection. And like any good teacher, you need a little bit of patience and a little bit of passion for teaching um, to help these kids learn English. The application process is really quick and easy. Often you can get an approval within a few days. There's no hourly commitment required from you as a tutor, so this is such a flexible opportunity. And because their students are coming from all around the world, the hours that you work are really flexible. So if you want to work late in the evening when your spouse is home and your kids are asleep, that's totally fine. If you wanna work early in the morning before everybody's up, you can do that too. It's really flexible and I think a really great way for homeschooling moms, stay-at-home moms to make some extra money. You make $12 an hour, they pay you every Monday via PayPal, so you'll get a paycheck once a week every Monday for the hours that you've worked. And you don't have to do any like lesson prep or anything like that. The lessons are already uh, done ahead of time. You're not having to do any of that. You're just teaching the material. The application process is pretty quick and simple. Um, it's not a difficult process at all. I will put all that information down below in the description box. Um, if you decide to sign up, don't forget to tell them that you heard about Cambly Kids on YouTube and you can mention my channel, Angela Braniff. And links and all of that information will be in the description box to make it very simple for you. But I think it's a great way to make some extra money as a stay-at-home mom, as a homeschooling mom. Um, it's very simple and something that, especially as a homeschooling mom, you're kind of doing naturally. You're teaching. I think it can be a very natural fit. Another stay-at-home mom, homeschooling mom job that you might not have ever heard of or thought of, and again, this is just the beauty of how things have changed over the years, narration. Do you have one of those voices that people always tell you, oh my gosh, you have such a calming, soothing voice, or I wish you could read me a bedtime story? There are just some people who have great voices for narration, and believe it or not, there's actually companies out there that will hire you to narrate books. And in some cases, it's not even so much about do you have that sort of ASMR soothing voice as it is about can you just read proficiently and effectively because sometimes they just want you to translate. Uh, so you're narrating a book that they're translating into English or you know whatever the case may be. So um, I'm gonna list for all these things I'm mentioning, any resources that I have found, I will list down below in the description box to make it easy for you. But if you search for these things and look for them on Pinterest and stuff, people will often blog about and share the details of where they do this. I actually looked into doing narration work as like a side job last year um, after I read my book for Audible. I just enjoyed the process so much of narrating my own book. I find my own voice very annoying. Um, I'm sure some of you are sitting over there right now saying, yeah, I agree, I think your voice is annoying. Why are you here? But anyways, the point being, I didn't think that I was gonna do a good job of narrating my book in the sense that I just didn't think I had the right kind of voice for it. Uh, but it ended up turning out quite well, as I've been told by those who've listened to it. I've actually never listened to my own book on Audible because why would I do that? Um, so I, but I looked into doing some narration work because I just enjoyed it so much. So that's another way that you can make some extra money is doing narration. And I'm trying to kind of give you 
multiple options that some will involve your everyday life as you're raising your kids and stuff like that, like doing in-home childcare or whatever. Um, but I'm trying to give you other options too that can be done in the margins. So whether that be in the evenings or early mornings, something like narration, I mean, you could hide in your closet and do that from your laptop after everyone else has gone to bed. So it's a good option to look into, especially if you like to read and you think you might enjoy reading out loud. Okay, another one, blogging slash vlogging. Now hear me out before you're like, what? <laughs> there are lots and lots of people who make money blogging and vlogging. It is a major, major, major misconception that you must have tons and tons and tons of followers to make money on these platforms. You'd be shocked by the people that have big followings actually make sometimes less money than people with smaller followings who actually know how to run a business. They know how to have multiple income streams, various ways to do that, diversify and make money in different ways. And then also how niche the thing is that you're blogging about or talking about. It's better to have a hundred followers uh, that are coming for this very exact thing that you are sharing, selling, doing, than it is to have a hundred thousand that are there for lots of reasons, but not any of it being the thing, the product that you're wanting to sell or do or share about or whatever the case may be. So I know that's a little abstract thinking, but there are lots of ways to make money blogging and blogging, and you don't have to have a huge following um, I've mentioned to you guys before that I was thinking about doing a course and I'm, I think I've decided I'm definitely going to do it. I will put a link in the description box if you want to get on the wait list for that so that you can get all the information about it before I'll release it anywhere else. I'll do all of that um, th for that wait list first. But I also have actually partnered up with a bunch of other influencers basically through Instagram and Lindsay from Live Sweet sort of spearheads this project and they invited me to be a part of it this year and I thought it was so neat. I'm very excited to be a part of it. It's a guide for women who are interested in doing some kind of um, influencer type digital content creation, being in that space. There are so many awesome, very successful women who have shared some of the secrets behind the business. So it's a compilation of a bunch of articles written by each of us um, and sort of giving you lots of information on everything from how to monetize, how to get brand deals, where to start, newsletters, all of that kind of stuff. So I'll put the link for that down below in the description box if you're interested in getting that guide. I think it's a great resource put together by a lot of women who have been in this business for years now, understand it, know where things are going, where they've been, and it can be really, really helpful. So I'll put all that information down below, but don't discount blogging vlogging um, as an option. It's not as hard to get started as you would think, and it doesn't take as long to be able to make some money from it um, as you might think either. So don't discount that, especially if you have something you're passionate about, something you wanna share about, talk about. It can be a really awesome tool, uh, especially because you get to control the hours you work and when you work and all of that kind of stuff, which is perfect when you're trying to juggle it with kids and homeschool and all the things. And the next one, Maybe you don't want to put yourself out there to do blogging, blogging, um, but maybe you do like some of that online space kind of stuff. Being a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants are in high, high, high demand. Um, there are so many open positions for virtual assistants because people have found that it's a lot easier to pay someone to do these tasks from their home rather than it is to pay someone to come into an office. There's just an added layer there that doesn't need to be there. And lots of people like myself and other women who run online businesses um, have multiple sometimes virtual assistants doing everything from running websites and groups to answering emails, to doing accounting things, to doing some content creation, a little bit of graphics stuff. And really, I mean, obviously you can get a higher paying position or something like that if you've got experience um, to pull from in certain programs. But a lot of people like myself have always been open and willing to teach someone because sometimes 
I would just rather teach someone my way and how I want it done than having them come in with their own way of doing things and then we have to like have this struggle of like, but I don't want it, I like it when you, when you do it this way. Um, so some people are willing to teach for the position. Uh, there are even like online schools and stuff that you can go to to learn how to be a virtual assistant, though I don't think that's entirely necessary. But through the use of Instagram and uh, there's lots of websites out there that connect someone like me who might be looking to hire a virtual assistant with someone who is looking to become a virtual assistant. That's a rabbit hole that you can fall down and do a lot of research on how to do that, how to be successful doing that. But I just, you would be so surprised by how much money some of these people are able to make working part-time online from home with their kids in tow. Every person I've ever hired or worked with um, in this type of virtual capacity for various parts of my business has always been a mom, has always been a mom who's home with her kids and trying to make money, and it's never been a problem. I've never looked at them and thought, well, I don't wanna hire you because you're not a professional. That's not an issue. If you do a good job and you get the job done, the employer does not care. So anyways, that's something to consider. It is a huge, vast and growing field with lots of room for new people. Another one is kind of like the narration one, except this is transcription. Again, there are websites that you can go on and put yourself as, uh, you know, you can hire me to do this and people will hire you to transcribe things. I know that it seems kind of like, really? But again, these are tasks that a lot of times business owners they don't have time to do because they're not things that make their business any money. So it's not really a good place for them to use their time. So they would rather outsource that to someone who can do this task that is relatively simple, but requires someone to be paying attention, pay attention to detail and do a good job. Um, it's not a tough job. It's just one that requires you to focus a little bit. Um, and it's something that most people will hire out. They're not going to do their own transcription. So it's not a challenging job. And again, it's something that I think you could probably pretty easily do uh, during nap time, even, you know, I don't know, if your kids have like independent subjects that they're doing and you could sit down on the computer and take some time to do some transcription. Uh, and these jobs, pay pretty darn well. It's not like you're over here making a dollar an hour or something like that. Like I said, I'll link any information that I can below in the description box if you're interested in any of these things because it's one thing for me to just say, hey, this is possible, but you might not know where to start looking. So I will do my best to link as much as I can about these different um, jobs and where you might go to um, put yourself out there as an employee in this area. The last one I'm going to mention is being a online seller doing like Poshmark type things. Now there's kind of two branches of this. One, you can work for someone else. Believe it or not, not everybody who sells on Poshmark is actually selling their own crap. A lot of times they are going to the Goodwill and thrift shops and Facebook Marketplace and finding really great deals on things that they can resell on Poshmark. Uh, it's a thriving business model for a lot of people. So you could become that Poshmark seller. The other option too is that a lot of times these really successful Poshmark accounts will hire assistants. And guess how I know this? Because I was looking online for someone to help me sell my crap on Poshmark. I have bins of stuff that I need to sell and list on Poshmark. I just don't have the time to take the pictures, upload them, do the pricing, do the back and forth with people, do the shipping. And if that's something that you could offer someone, there's someone who will hire you for it, I promise you. I have yet to find anyone in my local area who's offering themselves up for that task, but it's one that um, isn't, again, not challenging, just time consuming. And that's the thing that often people are trying to outsource are the tasks that they themselves do not have time to do as the business owner, um, there's places that they should spend their time that would be better for the company overall. Uh, but it's a task that wouldn't be difficult for you to do. It doesn't require you to be a rocket scientist, uh, but it does require you to learn something about this little niche of business and be really good at it and do a good job. Usually it's about being detail oriented. 
there you have it. There's 10 different ways that you can legitimately make money as a stay-at-home homeschooling mom. Um, like I said, I don't. nothing that I shared with you today is scammy or anything like that. I really wanted to share with you legitimate ways. I am always thinking about like plan B, plan C, especially when you work for yourself. I have been self-employed for a lot of years now in one capacity or another, but I always have like a running list in the back of my mind of what I would do if this fell through, what I would do if I couldn't do that anymore um, because I don't wanna go work for somebody else again. I've done it, I didn't like it, I wanna work for myself. I wanna control my hours um, and I know a lot of other moms who feel the same way. So hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Be sure to check out all the information down below in the description box and I will see you guys again very soon.